welcome back to the 31 Days of Horror. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in, guys. Yes, day 11 is here on the 31 Days of Horror, Volume 3, and I've got an interesting one for you guys today. This one right here is, I guess, technically from 2012, and it goes by the title of Bloody Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell, a.k.a. the Japanese Evil Dead. Yes. Um, yes, this is an Asian film, a Japanese film, with a very interesting history, actually. Uh, this movie right here was actually originally shot in 1995. It was then edited in 2005. Uh, completed in 2009. In 2012, it got like a minor DVD R release. Uh, and then in 2014, it got a, an official Japanese theatrical release and a DVD. And now here in 2017, we have a international DVD release from Terracotta. And it's a company out of the UK that actually specializes in releasing these low budget Asian films and craziness. So that's very, very cool. You can actually pick this one up for very, very cheap on Amazon UK. So if you're interested, go support this because it's pretty damn cool stuff. So, um, But getting into the uh, the synopsis of this one, basically it follows our main character, uh, Nato. Uh, he's like a big bodybuilder type dude. Anyways, he receives a phone call from his, uh, not a strange, but you know, one of his ex-girlfriends. And she asks him to basically help her out with some research on, on ghost studies and things like that, the paranormal. And so he agrees to do it, and which leads them to NATO's father's abandoned house that uh, he once owned, and uh, he's just kind of kind of moved in there a little bit and stuff. And she's heard that this place is haunted, so she wants to go there, accompanied by a psychic. The three of them go to this house to do some investigative reporting, and then all hell breaks loose. <laughs> That's right. Um, so my thoughts on this one. This is a very interesting and fun film. It only runs about 62 minutes, and it kind of left me going, I wanted more. That's how fun this, this movie is, man. So basically, we get the small little, you know, premise, you know, little setup to the film, and then it just gets into it, and it's like non-stop action and ridiculousness through the whole film right to the very end. Um, very much in the, you know, the vein of uh, Evil Dead and stuff, but yeah, so this one right here, man, is just super super fun it is filled with all that japanese craziness mixed in with the evil dead storyline so we get like some really cool lots of blood and gore we also get some um stop motion animation effects and we get some other type of odd effects in this film too which i thought really did work it was fantastic um you know it's uh it's i guess it's supposed to be a little bit funny but there's a lot of unintentionally hilarious moments in this like some of the dialogue i, th I think maybe it's just the way it's interpreted or something but Man, dude, for a, a film that only has, like, three people in it kind of thing, maybe four, it's so much damn fun. I just, I love the way the possession happens in this film. You do get a minor backstory of the house, the house's history with a guy that killed his wife uh, prior, you know, to their storyline. So that kind of comes into play in this one, too. I'm not going to ruin anything, but it is very Evil Dead. So much damn fun. It just, it, it's, it never stops. It's just full-on relentless gore and fun. I had so much fun with this, man. The very first moment where you see this possessed face, like, I, I literally bursted out laughing. It was one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. And it just worked. I mean, they're going for, you know, kind of a, a lukewarm tone to the film. It definitely has its comedic elements, but that's just shit, man. It was like the first thing you see, and I was still laughing about it. It made me laugh, but... Um, I can't recommend this enough, man. If you're into Asian films, crazy, gory films, into short films, uh, if you love The Evil Dead, you're going to absolutely love this film. I mean, how can you pass up a film called Bloody Muscle Builder in Hell, a.k.a. The Japanese Evil Dead? Absolutely ridiculous. Like I said, it only runs about 60 minutes, so I don't want to give everything away, but do yourself a favor. Check this one out. You can get this one for like five pounds. I highly recommend this. Super, super fun. Even the music was really cool in this, but I got to say though, man, I was expecting it to be over the top gory and things like that, even kind of referencing the Evil Dead, but I was not expecting things like stop motion animation and, and some other really cool trickery things that they did in the film too. That was shocking. I think it really did work for what it was and it was awesome. Really, really fun time. Give this one a shot. Got to check it out. 
And that is going to do it here for day 11. I apologize once again. I'm like, again, sick. Like, I just cannot break free of being sick. It's ridiculous. But I'll be back tomorrow, guys, with, uh, I actually don't know what I'm doing. So, till then, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in day 12. Peace.